Hello everyone, in this video I am going to present the case number 3 of CDA method of vacuometric serving in which the line of sight and staff both are inclined or in other words we can say that staff is normal to the line of sight. And now if you compare the case number 3 with case number 2 in which the staff was held vertical and line of sight was inclined. In that case we have seen that the line of sight is not perpendicular to the staff held since the working of the tachometry is based upon the case when we have the line of sight perpendicular to the staff since in that case it was not so therefore we have considered a imaginary staff and then we have uh, calculated the imaginary staff intercept and then some uh, consideration of the right angle triangles and then some complex calculations are required in order to calculate the horizontal distance and vertical distance but since in this case uh, the case number three where the staff is held in such a way that the line of sight is perpendicular to the staff this is possible only when we are inclining the staff to the same angle as that of the angle of the telescope. And to move on further, we need to have the upper stadia and lower stadia. The difference will tell us about the staff intercept. And from the basics, we know that if the line of sight is perpendicular to the staff, then uh, the distance that has been carried through the line of sight can be easily calculated. And in this case, it is B. And this is the formula for the D. Uh, but this is not the distance that we require. We require the horizontal distance H and vertical distance V. So in order to calculate the horizontal distance B, we need to consider this right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle, the hypotenuse would be D and the supposed angle would be same as that of the angle of the telescope, theta. Uh, here the base can be utilized to determine the horizontal distance H, but uh, here you can see that the base is little longer than that of the H by the magnitude of B. So let's uh, consider this base as H dash. So if we want to calculate H, then uh, we need to subtract B from the H dash. So therefore, the two parameters that we require in order to horizontal distance is H dash and B. So let's uh, calculate H dash first and then the B. Uh, so in order to calculate this H dash, which is actually the base of this right angle triangle, in this case, we need to take a trigonometric ratio that contains hypotenuse and base, which is cos theta. So then cos theta would be equal to S dash or D. In order to determine H dash, we will have then the formula for the S dash as H dash is equal to D cos theta. Putting the value of D in this equation, we will have then the equation of H as. Uh, so we have then the value for the S dash. The next thing that we require is B. So for B, we need to consider this right angle triangle. And in that right angle triangle, the hypotenuse would be exactly equal to the central stadia reading. And here we are considering that as H. And the theta would be the same as that of the staff that is being held. Now, using this right angle triangle, we will be utilizing a trigonometric ratio that contains perpendicular and hypotenuse, which is actually sine theta. So, that sine theta would be equal to B over H since we require B. So, then B would be equal to H sine theta. So, since we have the value of H dash and B putting the value in the formula of the H, then we have the final equation for the H is. So, this is the final equation for the H. And this is the case when uh, we had the angle as angle of depression, but sometimes we also have angle of elevation. So then in that case, there would be little difference as compared to the case when we had the angle of uh, depression. The difference is that here the H dash is smaller than H by the magnitude of B. In other words, we can say that the capital H is equal to H dash plus B. So then uh, we have the value for the S dash, we have the value for the B, so then the final location would be. So in this equation, the only difference between the angle of elevation and angle of depression is that of the sine of the H sine theta. Sine in the, in the previous case was minus H sine theta, but in this case it is plus H sine theta. Now let's move on to the measurement of the vertical distance V. The V is actually the vertical distance from the horizontal axis of the telescope 
to the point B. So this V is being divided into two more vertical distances as P which is actually the distance from horizontal axis of uh, the telescope to the central stereo reading and the remaining distance which is uh, the distance from the, the point of the central stereo reading up to the B point which will then be equal to P dash. So V would be then equal to P plus P dash. So in order to determine uh, the V, we require P and P dash. P can be calculated by considering this right angle triangle and P dash can be calculated by considering this right angle triangle. So in these two right angle triangles, in the bigger right angle triangles where we have uh, P as perpendicular and the hypotenuse as D, in order to determine the P, we need to consider a trigonometric relation that contains perpendicular and hypotenuse which is sine theta so then sine theta would be equal to p or d so then p would be equal to d sine theta by putting the value of d we have this final formula for the p similarly p dash can be calculated by considering this small right angle triangle in which the base is p dash and hypotenuse is h so considering a trigonometric relation that contains uh, base and hypotenuse that is cos theta so then cos theta would be equal to p dash or h then p dash would be equal to h cos theta so putting the value of uh, p and p dash we have the resulting equation for the v as and so now we have got the final equation for the v but sometime we require to have the reduced level of point b then in that case uh, how the calculation can be done so for that uh, a point of known reduced levels would be given that is benchmark and uh, on that benchmark the backside reading would be taken first and let's say that the backside reading is bs so in order to calculate the reduced level of point p we need to uh, have the uh, reduced level of the axis of instrument first for that we need to add the reduced level of the benchmark to the back backside reading and once we have the reduced level of the axis of instrument then by simply subtracting the v value we will have then the final equation for the reduced level of point b this is the case when we have uh, the angle of depression but now let's move on how the calculation can be done when we have the angle of uh, elevation so in that case uh, there will be little difference because v would be a smaller than that of the p and the remaining distance between the P and B is P dash. So there will be a difference in the calculation of the V when we have the angle of elevation that is P minus P dash. And uh, if you want to calculate the reduced level of uh, point B in this case, so, so there will be little more difference. The difference would be reduced level of the benchmark plus backside and uh, since the axis of instrument is uh, below than that of the point P so therefore we need to add the V value so then the final equation for the reduced level of point P would be 